Welcome back on this Tuesday morning. It's now 623. We're obviously starting a new fashion trend here and staying Absolutely. super, super warm. We've got uh, Hillary Void from Baba. Is it Baba Zuzu? That's correct. Yes. yes. You it got is, it. It's, you a, it's it. a tongue twister, but you guys specialize in ugly, ugly Christmas sweaters and with Christmas around the corner. I mean, uh, you said these are flying off your shelves. They are. I mean, we actually take the pieces and then transform them into our own products. But mm. um, this time of year, people come in and they say, is there any way I can just borrow a sweater before you cut it apart? Because mm. I've got a big party to go to and I want to win. Now, now, so what's the trend behind these? Because this, it kind of pick up, picked up some speed a little bit. Like, I know it wasn't much of anything for a while. And now, now everybody has and now ugly everybody sweater parties. everybody has one. Yeah, I don't know if you remember in college, it was kind of a big deal mm -hmm. this time of year. That was kind of just another reason to have a party, right? Yep. So I think that the trend has just come across the board for all ages. Um, and everybody wants to have their hand in another seasonal, festive, dress-up party. <laughs> so <laughs> even though we look ridiculous, it's fun. Ridiculously <laughs> awesome is what right. we look like. And I haven't worn a turtleneck in a while. This is snug. A little itchy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But so now before you guys got wiped out, I mean, how many did you have? Like you said, I we remember a, we talked. Yeah, it was we have a, a ton. I mean, and it's odd enough, but July tends to be our best time when we get, <laughs> <laughs> when we get Christmas up. in July. Right, exactly. But um, yeah, we just were wiped out last week, actually, mm -hmm. by a good friend, Brian Comfort, who owns um, Storm Cloud Brewing Company in Frankfurt, and they're having a party Sunday. So they um, wanted to stock up on. And yeah, they sandwich. have a good, good. Yeah, if you want to show this one's, this one's got fluffy. At least this one's got sleeves. Well, this right. one's fun. This is a little Moulin Rouge kind of can can <laughs> attire, and it's three dimensional as you can tell. And then in the back, oh, it, the party some. does not stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the it's the, it's the mullet the of right. a Christmas sweater. And you know what would make this sweater? I wish I had time. Is to not wear. A shirt under this. Right. This would just, I mean, that'd be great. Definitely the nice sweater vest. Sunday, you could wear it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Now, um, when people borrow these sweaters, is it does it cost them a lot of money or? No, and I mean, usually it's just our good friends that will stop by. Not many people know the the loot we have, but I guess the secret's out. The secret <laughs> is out. So, um, so you actually take the sweaters and kind of revamp them so right now the yes. people are grabbing them before that before that yes. happens and well and that we'll be talking more about that coming up at 6 45 but before we go now i know you guys uh to get everybody involved if, if you have a christmas sweater already you guys do a little thing on facebook as well yes we do uh -huh. we have our worst sweater wednesday <laughs> so we will pull the ugliest sweater from our wool pile and our wool pile i mean it's Huge. We get a ton in at a time when mm. the semi drops it off. So 2,000 wow. pounds at a time. Jeez. Um, we save 4,000 pounds of wool from going to the landfill each month. So we have a huge assortment. And where at, and where can people go real quick uh, to to this face to your Facebook page? Oh, to our Facebook mm -hmm. page. Yeah, if they go to just um, facebookcom slash um, babazuzu.com, which is B A A B A A Z U Z U. And okay. post it every Wednesday, and you guys yeah, just have a contest. Yeah, every Wednesday. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. And don't we're joined again by Hillary Voigt from Baba Zuzu, <laughs> and clearly we have our sweaters on again. So earlier we had our ugly sweater party. <laughs> now Hillary is going to explain to us um, what they do with their sweaters because these apparently are like the first stage, and then you repurpose them. It is. Them? Yes. Yes, you do. We call it an upcycling process. Upcycling. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sounds classy. Yeah. So once the garments come off of our big truck, we mm -hmm. work with a salvage company, and we pay by the weight. We then have to launder all of the sweaters. Of course. Um, not That's only good. to so cleanse them, yeah. Yeah, but it also oh, yeah. felts them, um, like my boot liners here felt it, and then some of the stockings we'll take a look at. I was going to okay. say, can you show us some? You yeah, got, yeah. You've got a couple of uh, sweaters there. So these are our Christmas stockings, um, and if you can tell, these are cute little ornaments down here, and it looks great okay. on a stocking, but as a full sweater, mm, probably not so much. Um, oh. And then we do have some, you know, very friendly Christmas characters, the snowman. It's so nice. weird how you can take this and turn it into this. And another one. I just need to. <laughs> and these look a lot less flammable than mine. Mine's got fuzzies all over it, if you can see it. So I just recommend if you're going to wear some of these sweaters to stay away from open flames. <laughs> yeah, you have a very textured piece on. Right? <laughs> now, how much does something like this end up costing? 
Um, these are 50, okay. um, but everything is hand done. Um, on right. average, there's about 12 designers' hands on one Baba Zuzu piece. Um, you can see this is all hand stitched. Wow. I was going to say that does sound a little expensive, but yeah, you can, if you take an even closer look at some of the detail, it's very nice. But um, real quick before we go, where can people get these? Where are you guys located? Yes, we are located in Lake Leland, Michigan. Um, and we do also have um, some wonderful vendors right here in town, Callie's Cottons and Golden Shoes right on Front Street. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, well, thank you so much for stopping by this morning. And uh, like I said, I might have to borrow these. I know we right. have to give them back, but it's going to be tough. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you can, and you guys can be on our blog this week. So. All right. Very cool. Thank you so <laughs> All much. All right. Thanks, Hillary. We're going to toss it back over to Joe Charlevoix for your bus stop forecast. Thomas, just please wear that downtown today. Please. <laughs>